heavy Arizona presence on the team. How much does that help you? I mean, honestly, it makes it feel even more like home. I mean, just coming out here, seeing people like Lathan, Denzel, everybody, couldn't ask for anything else. The weather's not very Arizona-like. Uh, I mean, I kind of like it, honestly. <laughs> okay. It's a little different, but. Devin said it, you know, he was, maybe it was a transition for some of these Arizona guys, but you seem comfortable with it now. Yeah, I kind of like it right now. How's the rest of the transition going, a month of workouts and all that? I mean, it's kind of like my high school, the intensity just ramped up a little bit more. I mean, uh, Coach G and all them over there in Chandler, they did everything they could to teach me, and it's really translated over to being out here and doing it now. What do you think has been, has it been anything that uh, has surprised you, tougher than you thought? Or? I mean, really just the pace of the, the warm-ups, I would say. It's a little bit faster, so you got to kind of pick it up and get with them. We've always had great wide receivers around here going back years, but it's really ramped up the last few years. Just your thoughts on that and this kind of becoming, I don't know, the modern wide receiver you the last few years? I mean, the one thing I want to do is try and be one, one of them. I mean, we're trying to pick it up. We plan on having two guys go out this year, two guys go out next year. We're going to keep that, keep that going, kind of like how Chris and Garrett are doing right now. Uh, did you watch Jackson's performance in the Rose Bowl? And just what were your impressions of that? Man, this, that's like a receiver's dream. 300 yards, three touchdowns, could have been four, could have been 400 yards. I mean, that's that's anything a receiver could ask for. So. What were your impressions of uh, Marvin's performance? Because it was his first start with guys like Chris and Garrett out, and uh, just him being a true freshman. I already knew Marvin was going to do his thing. Marvin is a, a freaking nature. So, I mean, I already knew he was going to go out there and do what he had to do. Jackson came in pretty polished and came in else. He seemed to be a little bit on that same trajectory. Uh, what can you take from him? Like he's risen to just two years to get to for you to get to that point not just two years but maybe this year um the one thing i could do is just learn from him i mean we come out here we catch on we catch often with cj and all that so i mean learning from him meg marv all these different people the one thing i can do is take from them and just learn as much as i can yeah cj mentioned that he felt that you were a little low low rated is that something that you pay attention to or use as some motivation? I mean, I mainly use it as motivation simply because, like, I know how good I can be, and I don't really look at that much because ratings don't really show who you are. And so, I mean, just being able to come here, that shows a lot. Appreciate it. What have your interactions with Devin been like? Because he mentioned, you know, he's getting familiar with, you know, his new teammates and whatnot. Uh, just what are your impressions of him? Oh, Devin's a great quarterback. He throws some great balls. Me and him have been catching almost every other day. So, I mean, Devin's a great person. I mean, he's fun to be around. What more can you ask for? Yeah, what makes uh, Ryan Hartline so appealing to the best wide receivers in the country? His teachings. Everyone tells you about his teachings. I've been with Johnny Dixon, Paris Campbell, all these different people, and they've always told me about how great of a teacher he is, how great of a coach he is. And I mean, the way he is during recruitment is the way he is now. He doesn't change. So. We've heard about C.J. Stroud's connection with Jackson Smith and Zigba. Is that a goal between you and Devin to develop that sort of energy coming in at the same time? Oh, that's for sure. That's that's a must. What is the kind of sort of the impression you want to make going into your first year? What do you want Buckeye Nation to know about Tom Brady? Well, really, I just want them to know that I'm a very hardworking kid. Yeah. And I mean, a great person on and off the field, no matter what the situation is. It takes a little bit self assuredness to, to come to the receiver room here. There, there's there's a confidence necessary to, for entry. Where, where does that come from for you? And when you see the group that has come through here the last few years, and I'm, they recruited you, they wanted you to be a part of it, how has that boosted your self-belief? I mean, really just coming from my high school, they taught me a lot about being accountable. And like, no matter how hard I would play, if I do something wrong, maybe it's a little thing, not put behind the line, just off the ball when I'm supposed to be on, like just simple stuff, they take me up. And that's made me learn how to compete and make sure I do everything right, especially the little things. So I mean, that's boosting my confidence a lot. I know it's very early, but just your general impressions of the Ryan Day offense. How would you, um, just, I know it's early, but how would you describe the Ryan Day offense? <laughs> it's crazy, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I mean, I've only learned the formation so far, but from what I'm hearing, it's just it's crazy. Well, later to that, when you watched the Rose Bowl, what went through your mind? Oh, that was just 
Man, watching CJ fling that thing around, it was, there was nothing more you could ask for. And then having a receiver catch, catch eight me. miles worth of passes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I just can't. I just see myself doing that. I just can't wait to be able to do that. Is there an element that's already begun uh, with the guys coming back? Um, obviously, you're still getting no quarterbacks, but is there an element that's already begun of study of, of trying to figure out what makes this group unique? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, every day we come out and catch. I'll be out here with Meg, Marv. I'm just watching seeing how they've developed from the freshman year to now and like I'm trying to learn from them and try to figure out what like how Coach Hart teaches his stuff and how it's different. How is it? I mean it's just little things like maybe getting out of your breaks in three steps instead of four or five. It's just it's mainly just the little things around some misdirection, head movement, stuff like that. What did you see uh, CJ throwing to Benjamin Jackson when see Garrett and Chris getting ready for a fix. When you look at guys like that guy or whatever like since you've been here I mean what do you what do you see from their I guess progression or their you know ability to do what you do or is there is there something that you're like is there something different or is it something just a little more farther along I mean the one thing about both of them they're all about their business yeah. and they always like to make sure that they're on top of their stuff all all they do is work and the one thing I try to do is make sure that I'm with them every single time I go do that so I can up my game right there with them You've been to the main, a little bit of a smaller receiver compared to some of the other guys in the class. Uh, is there like, a whole weight that you want to get to? Is there a, a thing that Mick has set for you already, or are we still in the early stages of that? They sent me at 180, but I feel like I can break 185 before it's next year. Is that eating everything you see, or is that That's good, just good food? eating everything I see. <laughs> I don't really got no specific diet. I just kind of eat anything. I but they want you to put a little bit of weight on Yeah. There's a lot made about the brotherhood. You haven't been here that long, but have you been able to, you know, see that and what people are talking about from the outside? For sure. I mean, that's the one reason why I came here. It's like a family. It's everyone's all in. And if you're not all in, then what's the point? It seems like that kind of family has started with, you know, the early enrollees together. They were a bunch of guys who've been talking about a group chat that you guys have. Do you feel closer with these guys coming in before you guys were actually together in person? Or what was that like for you? I mean, I did. And the crazy part is I feel closer with the whole team, too. Like, yeah. I'm very comfortable around all of them. And it's kind of crazy because most of the time you come in and you're not really sure. Like, the, okay, I'm going to keep my distance. But, I mean, I feel like I'm already a part of the brotherhood and I just got here. Is there an older guy that kind of represented that for you? There's, like, there's, a, there's a lot of them. Yeah. One of them that I got to say, though, that's the one that's Is You said, Ju you said it's Julian? Sorry, it's hard to hear Julian, you with all the construction. Julian? Julian yes, he's, he's kind of been, you know, had his own level of journey, whether it's injury, waiting his turn, and things like that. Do you sense kind of a, I mean, what is it about his leadership style that kind of stands out? I mean, he just he just pushes me kind of like a magic bullet. Uh, you couldn't ask for anything else out of someone who's like a big, like a big brother fishing team. So. 